Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping, stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for being a part of this journey. Um, being able to relate and you know, we're all learning from each other one way or another is truly a blessing. So being able to know that I can relate to people on the same level as me um, on this journey, for you being a part of mine and being a part of yours, just thank you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh, feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now and need confirmation and validation towards their life purpose or even their soul, soul experiences or whatever, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation I'm listening to today is 396 Hertz. Let go of wor worries and over overthinking, deep, calm state of mind, mindfulness, music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, when Universe sends me to do these videos, oh my goodness. Uh, hey, Okas, knowing you're dealing with a narcissist. I did videos about this a while back. It is just always makes me cringe when I have to talk about negative stuff. Because I really don't like talking about negative things. But then if I step back and look, I would want somebody to let me know, you know, when I'm starting to head towards the narcissist. Because with us being empaths, we always have a bad habit of you know, always trying to find the good in people. We do that all the time. That's our Achilles. You know, you're always like, oh, you know, sometimes I've seen some videos like recently and I'm just like, oh no, yo, part ways, part ways, you know. Um, but it's just like a lot of times we're in situations and it, it's not always just men. It can be females too. I've encountered both. Um, that you're always, you know, thinking that you can impact their life on helping them change. You cannot do that. You, there's no way because they don't have any conscience you know half of the time you're like do they even have souls <laughs> you know you have to ask that because it's just like you have to be able to know to spot a narcissist you know um you're, you're dealing with somebody who's very 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 charming um you have to be able to pay attention you know if you're trying to get into a relationship and stuff like that you really have to allow yourself to get to know these people. A lot of times we, you know, they will cater to us to make us fall in love with them very quickly <laughs> or, you know, care for them very quickly without, you know, you're jumping in eyes wide shut and then you, you're not finding out until it's too late. You know, they, they're, they're become that, you know, that prince charming or that prince is charming. Basically, feeding off of the things that you are telling them about your life story. They want you to be able to open up and tell them the things that you've been through, the things you experienced, so they know what, you know, to plan their strategy around that to get you reeled in. They do that. You know, I've, I've had it done with people that I've dated, even people that I just associated myself with. They will use the things that you have against you like they'll they'll do that they have put this facade up to where they feel like oh my gosh they're so perfect they're this and they're that you know and going through that it can be really hard but it's just like being able to see that you know and dealing with them it, it can be a really messed up situation you know i've had family members that are like that um a lot of them <laughs> you know i even it was scary because i had to i noticed the things that i was triggered in that i started falling behind suit i had to really pay attention to and let go of because i would see myself starting to mirror the things that they would do to me and i would do it right back and i'm like no no -uh, you can't do that no 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 it's not even in you to do that so it's just like when you're looking at all these different things 
know that you have to be very careful about the things that you share. You really do. Because it's just like when I've dated other people and they were like, well, what did you go through? I'm like, eh, I don't want to be talking about that. I, I just don't, you know, I'm focusing on what we're doing here. You got to be able to do that, you know, because after, you know, if you've been with them for a while and you don't notice any patterns or whatever about dealing with a narcissist, then you can be open to certain things that you have gone through because some people will use try to pull the same tricks on you that you went through in a toxic relationship so you have to be careful of the things that you share with other people because i'm telling you they will try to sit up here and pull the same thing on guilt trip or whatever kind of things they do you know to do that you know when they're with you they will place themselves as being a victim especially if they you know they're talking about their you know their, their other relationships they will always make it look like you know they're the ones that are victimized and not actually wanting to share the fact that they, you know, they victimize other people as well. The things that they're doing to you, they will project that off of the things that are happening to them or has happened. So it's just like, you know, I've seen situations where I was judged by other people that didn't even know me. They always tell people there's, you know, there's always three sides to a story. It's their story, your story, and then there's the truth. You know, so you have to be careful with all these things because once you end up breaking up with a narcissist, Oh my gosh, they will try to eat you alive because it's just like I've told people, if they can't control you, they will control how other people see you. I've, I've seen, you know, family members do that, you know, because it's just like when people first meet me, they're very nice. And all of a sudden after somebody had a conversation with them, you know, they're not even giving them a chance to get to know me. And it's just like, I've always had that strong mentality. Okay, yeah, you can tell me about this person. Yeah, I will keep my eyes open, but I'm not going to judge this person just because of the experience you had. Because no telling what kind of experience you had on how you came at them, what kind of attitude you had, what kind of mindset you have. Let me allow myself to learn this experience if this is the person I want to deal with. Because, it'll, you know, they'll have you looking at them in a different way. You know, I said, I don't follow suit. I've never, I've, you know, I follow to the beat of my own drum. I've never been a follower. I did when I was little. And then I noticed how things happened. It jacked me up in the long run. So I had to learn to be, sound to go by the beat of my own drum. But yes, they will try to control you. They will con try, try, to, ugh, try to control your atmosphere. You know, I've had people, you know, they, they will make it seem like you cannot live without them. Oh, things won't be able to succeed without this person being in your life. Because when you allow them to know that you no longer need them, they will put you down. They will use things that other people said against you to put you down, belittle you. Um, being able to bring drama towards your life, you know, sabotaging everything that you're working hard for to be able to separate yourself from them. Um being you know they'll be like oh joking not joking you know like sorry not sorry you know they'll say something oh yeah i was just joking with you knowing good and well they weren't joking with you you know especially if it's about belittling that person um some of them can be physical i've i've had situations like that where you know when i was trying to part ways they really tried to get physical with me they almost cost myself you know them a free ticket to the hospital and me a free ticket to jail so I didn't allow that to happen to me. So it's just like when you go through situations like that, you have to be careful. You have to watch out for the things because they will flip script on you really quick. You know, being that Prince Charming. Anybody ever seen that movie called Perfect Man uh, with Sanaa Latham, Morris Chestnut, and Michael Ely? That is a prime suspect, the daggone, you know, narcissist, sociopath, and a daggone psychopath all at one time, you know. Um, being able to, it's just like, I don't like doing videos like this, but universe said you have to talk about stuff like this. And I'm just like, you know, but, uh, I hate, you know, I always like doing stuff that's, you know, bring a positivity to your life, but this is positive as well as I'll have you look at things, especially, you know, narcissistic people. They like to move really fast. You know, there's some of them be like, oh, can we, you know, you want to move in together? Or there's a lot of people that, you know, got low self-esteem and they see it a mile, of, you know, because it's just like when I am seeing, you know, a couple of my exes, how they will bring folks in their life. And you can tell this person has a lot of, you know, self-esteem issues, you know, that's going a lot. I'm like, oh, my God. You, yeah. You're going to prick the prime suspect, you know, suspect right there because they're going to believe everything you say. They're going to be hating on the other person. No, you don't even know what that person has been through. But you already hating on that person because of what they said, you know, because if you already know if it's on the up and up, if anybody start coming back and telling you everything they're, they're, you know, their ex is done, 
constantly talking about that, that lets you know they're trying to make you see things one-sided. And number one, they're probably pissed because the fact is they couldn't control that ex anymore. So, of course, they're going to make that person look bad at all, you know, all ways. But, you know, they will never sit up here and say what had that person acting that way in the first place. So you have to be very careful with that. You know, if they're like Princess Charming, you know, wanting to move too fast. Oh, you know, you want to be my boyfriend, you want to be my girlfriend and all this stuff. Or, or you want to have children and you know, the crazy stuff like that after y'all just met each other, you know, um, you have to be really careful of stuff like that and deal with folks because it's just like you have to have a no contact rule if you possibly can. You know, if you can't just minif minimize your conversation as much much as possible. If it's something you have to talk about, then that's have to. But it's just a lot of times you have to press boundaries up, even though they will constantly try to overstep their boundaries a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But, you know, you deal with these things and you learn from them, you know, and it's like I always try to tell people, if you have that uh, financial ability to leave that person alone, please do, you know, because they will try to reel you in to let you, you know, make you feel like you can't live without them. I've, I've had that situation before where, you know, they felt like I couldn't live without them and I'm just like, I'm living without you. <laughs> regardless I'm living without you so it's just like when you're going through different situations like this allow yourself to see the red flags that are posting up you know they they will be like I said Prince Charming they will be very controlling they will allow people to see you the way they want people to see you they will belittle you they will disrespect you they will push they will use your weaknesses against you so you have to be very selective of the things that you talk about especially from your past experiences just by paying attention to it and that's a lot of times that's the reason why we go through these situations because i tell people never wish that you never had this experience because this experience is allowing you to know what to look for when this mess pops up again and then that's giving you that courage to walk away from anything that is making you feel uncomfortable and makes you question your sanity your beliefs and anything like that walk away <laughs> walk away so i hope you're able to learn something from this you know being able to take heed about it you know but be careful about the people you select about being in your life because you never know you really never know because some people are out here they're they're in prison from their toxic you know relationships and i pray that i don't ever have to hear any of my love bugs has been you know put six feet deep over some crazy person that they done been with so you got to be very careful and selective about the people you open up to and the people that you allow in your life like that so i hope you are able to resonate you know please drop me a line give me a thumbs up like and even share like and subscribe is all greatly appreciated my post notification shout out goes to to greg sika and king hayoka much love to you and i will see you on my next video like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line give me a thumbs up share and I hope you have a blessed day. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.